What's up everybody, hope you're all doing well and good on uh, Thursday morning. Uh, I read an article yesterday online that said that this British heat wave was going to last until about 2022 uh, and it's currently throwing it down with pitch black skies at 10 o'clock in the morning so that was an absolute lie wasn't it? Um, it is Thursday, it is weigh day. Something slightly different though, I am not going to weigh in at 6 o'clock tonight. I'm off work today, I've been off work uh, this week. So I don't particularly want to wait all day and go to weigh in at six o'clock, which is my normal time, uh, because I just feel like I'd be kind of a slave to, to weigh in. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily eat anything and I just don't want to, while I'm off, I may as well get it done early on. Um, however, you'll notice I'm not wearing my lucky green uh, weigh-in t-shirt and that's because I'm currently on my way to the gym, because uh, apparently I'm a, I'm a gym bunny now. So I figured, class is at 11, it's currently 10 o'clock, so in grand, Phil planning fashion I've left myself pretty much no time to actually do what I want to do um, but I'm still gonna go because then I get the gym session out of the way as well so I'm heading to the gym now and then I'm gonna go straight to straight to weigh in if you watched my video last night that I made about checking sins and you know even if you think you know check uh, I'm a bit concerned or a bit apprehensive about weighing because I know that I've been over sins quite a lot uh, particularly with the two with the two pots of yogurt that turned out to be eight and a half sins each um, so that's an extra 17 sins that I hadn't accounted for on top of the sins that I'd been having regardless so I'm a little bit apprehensive however I'm gonna go and do a session in the gym see if I can work off some of that I'm not hopeful at all but it's a gym session it gets that and um, and the weighing out of the way early so let's just uh, see how it goes and I will check back in with you uh, very shortly when I'm done at the gym Okay, gym session done. Um, I'm pretty sure the Pizza Hut was there first, by the way. So, uh, yeah, the gym is literally to my right here and the Pizza Hut is straight opposite as you leave. Um, if you think that's bad enough, there's also on the other side of the road, there is a McDonald's and a KFC. And then further down the road, a little bit, there is a Burger King. So, if you, uh, if you ever want to feel justified in getting fast food, then come to the gym for an hour uh, and then go and get some fast food ah oh, this junction's awful isn't it so yeah justified if you ever feel like you want to justify fast food just sign up to that gym do an hour in the gym then go and get your choice of fast food um so that was that done i am an absolute muppet and forgot one of the most important bits of going to the gym which was a towel um which meant that having a shower was fun i kind of just had to stand there and drip like that uh, and then i used my um my t-shirt just to try and get the last remnant so i'm fine i'm good it's all you know it all worked out in the end but not the most fun i've ever had um so i'm on my way to um slimming world it's about 10 to 11 now so it starts at 11 so let's just go and see what uh what's going on apparently this group has moved it's not in um it's not in the the same place it was before so this will be fun I'm gonna try and record myself trying to find. Oh, I can't get my words out. I am absolutely hopeless at trying to find places for the first time. Useless. So let's see how fun this is. Okay, it's up this road somewhere. I know that much. Apparently, it's right next door to the old place. It used to be in like a village hall type place, like a community centre. And apparently now it's in the pub. So I shouldn't really have any trouble whatsoever. But this is me we're talking about. I am horrendous at finding stuff. Um, so we'll just see. I'm probably going to drive past it. I'll, you'll just see it go in the window like that. It's also one of the horrible, horriblest, one of the worst roads to drive on in terms of speed bumps. They're everywhere. And cars parked up and down the side of the road. Okay, it's a lot further up than I imagined it was going to be. I forget how far up the community hall thing is as well. Either that or I've already, or I've already driven past it, so I'm now just going further and further away from the, uh, from the place. Oh no, this bit looks familiar. Oh yeah, I was going to mention, uh, on the way into the gym, this is like just Mansfield all over I guess. Uh, just randomly on the on the floor in the car park of the gym were two Weetabix. Um, so yeah, what a stupid place to, well there's the community hall. Um, oh, and there's the pub. Just as I've driven past it, what an absolute pleb. 
I was that's your fault. I was too busy talking to you about Weetabix. Soggy, wet, molting Weetabix on the car park floor uh, of the gym. So I'm blaming that entirely on you. So let's do the feel special, which is just a quick turnaround. If you can hear the squeaking as well, by the way, that's my shoes on the uh, floor because the floor's wet outside because it's been raining. So, aha, right, how'd you get in? There's, oh no, there's two entrances. Can I? Oh, that's the exit. Oh, at least they're clearly marked. Entrance. Let's try that one. Oh no, now where do I park? There's too many spaces. They don't give me that much responsibility. Uh, let's just go to this first one here, shall we? As far away as possible, but it's the first one I could see. Cool. Right, well, I've made it. With only minimal psychological scarring. Let's go and see what damage I've done. And I'll see you shortly. Okay, done. Um, I Good result. I actually lost one and a half pounds. So obviously that uh, disaster I had with the with the Aldi yogurt wasn't quite. I mean, it, it probably had some effect, but it wasn't quite the disaster that it could have been. I still managed to lose one and a half pounds. So happy with that. A week going forward, I'm going to obviously make sure I check my sins more uh, thoroughly, uh, especially if I'm having something I've not had before. And don't assume just because it's a similar product. Like I've had vanilla Miller Lights and they're free, so don't assume that uh, everything that's uh, vanilla yogurt that's fat free is going to be free and needs to be the light version but if you want to hear the mistake that I made check the video that I put up yesterday so one and a half pounds I'm happy with that um, I'm really liking going to the gym I've only, I've only been signed up for eight days something like that but I'm really liking it so far um, so I think I'm gonna keep doing that the reason that I did it now is because I'm off uh, well I'm not off work I've been in and out of work for the last couple of weeks but um, I figured if I can kind of get myself into a routine now where I don't have as much kind of going on when it all comes back and, and I start teaching again and the students are back in and everything I'll have that routine already in place so I'm more likely to continue a routine at the start of the school year than I am to start a new routine at the start of the school year so that was my thinking it's working well so far I'm seeing changes already I'm getting a little bit fitter every day being able to do a little bit more every day etc etc so it's all good uh, it's all kind of uh, doing exactly as I thought and hoped it would do so that's it one and a half pounds off um, I may do another frozen um, concoction video that Diet Coke chicken went down really well um, with people so I'm thinking maybe like a cottage pie or something like that using either frozen uh, mints or maybe even um, corn something like that so but that's it I'm not gonna ramble on any longer so a successful week despite the kind of um, rookie setback that I had um, with the yogurts, I've still managed to come away with a pound and a half, so that's just kind of refocused me for next week to just double check everything, whether I think I know what, what sins it's worth or not, always just uh, double check, and hopefully here's to a, another good week. So uh, one and a half off, very happy, and I'll see you next time.